Welcome back to our YouTube channel accounts Guru Cool. Learn accounting online. So today we are here with one more video in which we are going to discuss about FE &E, finance planning and analysis. In that, we are going to discuss about the ratio analysis, example, meaning, interpretations. Knowing that we have to do the lots of ratio calculations, being FE and &E, finance planning and analysis, that word itself is going to be says that analysis. And to do the more effective analysis, we have to use the ratio analysis for that. And if somebody is going to throw such kind of numbers in front of us, giving example of the PNL balance age or uh, trial balance, and based on that, you have to interpret by doing the ratio analysis and you have to pull out the some interpretations from that you have to use the calculation through the ratio analysis then how you're going to do that and what's the meaning of that here if you see that it's we are going to discuss about one of the examples of accounts based on the annual report of 2019 and how it's going to be work we have all the details from the particulars we have captured the, all the details of sales ebita interest expenses equity current assets current liabilities and we have to calculate the liquidity ratios, current current ratio, quick ratio, cash ratio. But before going to do that, we need to know, and we have to, we are going to do all these things in the Excel itself through the practicals. We are going to use the formula as well to uh, know that how is current ratio, how is a quick ratio, how is a cash ratio. But the one thing which is going to be coming to the mind is that what is mean by current ratio? Why we use that current ratio by doing the current ratio, either it's going to be uh, how much is going to be how a current ratio, uh, then it's going to be the positive variable ratios or unvariable ratios. What's mean by quick ratio? How much percentage is going to be give the more uh, beneficials uh, having the good quick ratio, good cash ratio that all we need to know then only we are able to do the calculations of that and we uh, are able to do that uh, ratio calculations based on the formula but what is the interpretation of that ratio doing the calculation is one thing and having the interpretation of that calculation is a different thing so that's the two different things which we have to ensure we have the understanding for that but knowing that the cash ratio current ratio is going to be give the 1.54 x then what does it mean by that? either this is a favorable this is a good or uh, this is this is going to be give us some uh, incorrect or some negative insight about the company. What what's the interpretation of that? That's essential for us to know. So that's all we are going to discuss here through taking into the one this practical example through these numbers we are going to do. We are going to learn more about liquidity ratios. What's the meaning? How we have to be going to the depth and to know what's in the current ratio, what's in the quick ratio, what's the cash ratio, how we have to interpret for that. That's all we are going to discuss here based on this one example. So request viewers to be with us till the end of this video to know more about it. Request viewers to like the video, share the video, and subscribe our channel to get the more practical knowledge related to accounting and finance. In addition to that, if you're looking for any sort of training related to the FENA, R2R, or O2C, P2P, or if you're looking for any software training, or if you're looking for any sort of consultancy related to accounting and finance, then you can just connect with us on our email ID accounts .gurukul at the rate yahoo.com. So straight away, we'll jump towards the practicals and we'll see how it's going to be work. So this is the one what we have the examples, uh, ratio analysis, example, meaning and interpretation. Let's take the example of accounts gurukul annual report for 2019 to illustrate the calculation of different ratios used in ratio analysis. As per the latest annual report, the following information is available. Based on the given information, calculate the liquidity ratio of accounts to the cool for the year 2019. So we have the certain information from the accounts to the cool based on the annual report of 2019. Again, this is all the imaginary numbers, so don't go with these numbers. But we have to use this for calculation purpose. So particulars amount and uh, what we need to do, we have to calculate the liquidity ratios. And in the liquidity ratios, we have to do the calculation of the current ratio, quick ratio and cash ratio. We have all these numbers and we have to do the calculation of that. But by doing the calculations, what we are going to achieve and why we have to do that and what's the meaning of liquidity ratio. So that we need to understand from here. The liquidity ratio is a very critical part of a business. Liquidity is required for business to meet its short-term obligations. Liquidity ratios are a measure of the ability of a company to pay off its short-term liabilities. So the liquidity ratio is going to give the insight about that if any certain movement company need to do the settlement of all their short-term liabilities, how much is the capability of that entities to do that? 
that's we are able to know from the liquidity ratio. Liquid says that immediately we are going to convert that asset into liquidity. Convert that asset into cash. Liquidity ratio determines how quickly a company can convert the assets and use them for meeting the dues that arise. The higher the ratio, the easier is the ability to clear the debts and avoid defaulting on payments. So whenever you are asking to anyone for the credit terms related to vendor sites and vendor is going to see towards your balance sheet p and L, to know that either you guys are the credit worthiness is there and how, how your liquidity ratio is going to be. And if your liquidity ratio is in the favorable, it's a higher ratio, then there is no need to worry about that to give the credit terms to you. And if the liquidity ratio is not strong, then we have to think about to giving the credit terms to that particular customer. So considering that, most of the times when we are dealing with any vendors, they used to ask us to kindly send us the last year's P and they'll balance it. So what these guys are going to do from that, but these guys are going to do the ratio analysis from that to know how much we have the strong from the financials in to do the business with us that, that these guys are able to know it from your P and L balance it by using this ratio analysis. This is a very important criteria, or this is very important that creditors check before offering short-term loans to the business. An organization which is unable to clear dues results in creating impact on the credit worthiness and also affects credit rating of the company. Let's now discuss the different types of liquidity ratio. So there are following types of liquidity ratios going to be current ratio or working capital ratio, quick ratio also known as acid test ratio, and cash ratio, also known as cash asset ratio or absolute liquidity ratio. So that's the meaning of liquidity ratio and how it's important. Now we'll see one by one the current ratio, quick ratio and cash ratio and we'll see the impact of that, what's the mean of that and we'll do the calculations as well and we'll try to find out how it's going to be favorable or, or, or non-favorable or how it's going to be give the insight interpretation of that ratio. So if you see here, the current ratio or working capital ratio, the current ratio is a measure of a company's ability to pay off the obligations within the next 12 months. This ratio is used by creditors to evaluate whether a company can be afford short-term debts. It also provides information about the company's operating cycle. It also popularly known as working capital ratio. It is obtained by dividing the current asset with current liabilities. The current asset is calculated as below. So current ratio is equal to the current ratio equal to current asset divided by current liabilities. So how much we have the current asset is this much divided by the current liabilities. So your ratio is going to be 1.4x. Yeah, so your ratio is arrived, that's 1.4x. So it means that a higher current ratio around two is suggested to be ideal for most of the industries while a lower value less than one is indicative of a firm having difficulty in meeting its current liabilities. So the current ratio is going to give the insight about that, uh, how much you are good into the doing the payout of your current liabilities and uh, how, how it's going to be work for the last 12 months. And if your ratio is around uh, higher than two, then that's going to be give the good ratio. And if it's a lower than one, then it's uh, it's need to think about the firm is having difficulty in meeting its current liabilities. So here it's a 1.54 is current ratio. So it's a good for the accounts guru code. That's the interpretation of the current ratio. Coming back to the quick ratio, how it's going to be work. Quick ratio is also known as acid test ratio. Wow, the meaning of that quick ratio is the one more also known as acid test ratio. Is used to determine whether a company or a business has enough liquid asset, which are able to be instantly convert into cash to meet short term dues. So that's reasons it's use the word acid test ratio or quick ratio. So how much you have the liquidity with you or how much you have the assets where you can immediately able to convert into cash to meet the short-term dues in emergencies. That's the meaning of your quick ratio or acid test ratio, how you are going to calculate that. So you have to use the cash plus marketable securities plus account receivable divided by current liabilities. So here, if you use that, 
uh, it's going to be some current asset, cash, and marketable securities. So here we have the current assets. Then we have the mm, cash and equivalent and divided by current liabilities. So it's a uh, ratio analysis is going to be C cash plus account receivable divided by current liabilities. So we'll try one more thing. Sum, it's going to be your cash and cash equivalent plus your account receivable divided by your current liabilities. Yes. So you have the ratio is around, your quick ratio is around 0 0.68. The ideal quick ratio should be one for a financial stable company. So it means that 0 0.68 is not a good quick ratio. If it's more than one, then that's the ideal for quick ratio. And if it's a less than one, then the situation is not good. So the ideal quick ratio should be one for a financially stable company, or that should be more than one, but not less than the one. So here is we have the difficulties because if any emergencies are there, we don't have that much quick asset, which are going to be convert to mitigate the current liabilities. So that's something is worried. So there should be the ratio should be around one plus or more than one to how ideal quick ratio. So that's the something is we need to worry about this from this ratio. And the last is going to be talk about the cash ratio, or you can say the absolute liquidity ratio. What does it mean by that? So knowing the ratio and the, having the meaning and interpretation, that's a three is different thing. Quick ratio is also known as acid test ratio is used to determine whether the company or business has enough liquid assets which are able to be instantly converted into cash to meet short-term dues. It is calculated by dividing the liquid current asset by the current liabilities. Cash ratio is a measure of a company's liquidity in which it is measured whether the company has the ability to clear off debts only using the liquid assets, cash and cash equivalents such as marketable securities. It is used by creditors for determining the relative ease with which a company can clear short-term liabilities. And the ratio is going to be calculate cash and cash equivalent divided by current liabilities. So ratio is going to be straightway only with cash. So it's going to be cash and cash equivalent divided by current liabilities. So that's going to be 0 0.46. The general a cash ratio equal to or greater than one indicates a company has enough cash and cash equivalent to entirely pay off all short term debts. Without adding the account receivables, this is going to be straight with through the cash itself. A ratio above one is generally favored, while a ratio under 0 0.5 is considered risky as the entity has twice as much short-term debt compared to cash. So here, if you see the cash ratio is going to be, uh, do the calculations with only the cash you worry with current liabilities. And if you have the enough cash, or you can say the one, or more than one ratio is there, then that's a favorable ratio. So if it's less than 0 0.5, then there is need to be too much worry to have a credit allowance to that particular entity because knowing the uh, cash ratio is not a good and it's, it's risky as the entity has twice as much as short-term debts compared to cash. So that's the interpretation from the cash ratio. And uh, we discuss about the quick ratio as well, current ratio, liquidity ratio, based on this. So that's all from this video. So before going to know, and whenever you are going to do any uh, such kind of cash analysis, uh, ca ratio analysis, so you should know that, what's the meaning of that, how you have to do, why we have to do. And uh, by putting the numbers into the formula and having the ratio in place, that's not going to give you the good insight. So you should know that what's the interpretation of that ratio and how much is the ratio is going to be favorable and what condition, what criteria is there to consider as unfavorable. So that's you need to know from that. That's the reasons we are here with this video. In this, we discuss about FE&E ratio analysis, about the liquidity ratios, meaning, example, and interpretations. So thanks guys for being with us till the end of this video. So request viewers to like, share, and subscribe our channel to get the more 
practical knowledge related to accounting and finance. If you want to connect with us, you can connect on our email ID, accounts.gurukul at the rate yahoo.com. Thank you.